from Year 6, welcome back to another distance learning English session. Now, your task for today is to write me a story. Short story, probably no more than two pages, but what is it about? I hear you ask. Well, your story, okay, should be about the Just William books. We looked at the Just William books before you went on to distance learning and before assessment week. Now, if you cannot remember what these stories are about, not a problem. I have sent you a link with a free Just William book. You'll be able to open it up. You can read it online. You can download it if you wish, um, where you'll be able to read some different Just William stories. Now, of course, reading is important in this time. Okay, you should make sure you keep reading and reading and reading. You are welcome to read this whole book, should you wish. Okay, but your task today for English is not on Study Ladder. It is not on Education City. It is to write me a story based on Just William. Now, let's look at what I want you to do. Your success criteria is I can write a story, I can use powerful vocabulary, I can use different English language features. Remember that powerful vocabulary is key. Things that we did in our Avengers audio unit and other units since, it really engages the reader. It makes them want to read more. It helps with that vivid description in their minds. So powerful vocab is really, really key. Now then, as I mentioned before, going into distance learning, we looked at these Just William stories. And it was a very, he was a very likable boy. We sort of really liked him, we found him funny, but he often was sly, cunning. He lied quite a little bit. Uh, not serious lies, but sort of to get himself out of trouble. And of course, he often infuriated his older brother. Now, you'll be writing a story. You can use uh, William himself, or you can make your own character who is sort of similar. Your character should get into mischief. Um, there should be different funny events, but it should all turn out well in the end. So if you remember, we looked at just William and the school report, where he got some bad news. His school report was not very good, um, and he had to take it home. Now, his dad had already warned him it was a bad report that he would have to do tutoring all through the summer holidays. So he got into a bit of mischief, but on his way through the woods, he met his very rich aunt, who was off to his house. And he used this to his advantage, where he sort of tore up his school report into tiny pieces to use as breadcrumbs to make sure that they wouldn't get lost. Of course, William knew this word really, really well, um, and it was just a way of destroying his school report, turning this bad situation into his advantage. Now, at the end, it all turned out really, really well. Okay, he got some money from his rich aunt and his school report was destroyed, meaning that his parents couldn't see the bad report. I would like you to write a story based on just William. Okay, mischief, different funny events, but in the end, it all turns out well. And as I said, you can use just William himself or you can use your own character. Now, then, don't forget to include these key points. Powerful vocab. Now that is key, again, as mentioned, that vivid description really engages the reader. It helps the reader imagine things in their minds. So make sure you're using that really powerful uh, adjectives, you're using powerful uh, verbs all the way through your writing. I'm looking for you to use subordinating conjunctions as well. In that case, I would obviously like to see subordinating clauses. Uh, relative clauses and fronted adverbials should also be included in them. Again, it helps the text that you are writing, it helps it to be imagined. And finally, I would like to see you use coordinating conjunctions to join the two clauses together to make one sentence. And remember the acronym FANBOYS, okay? For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. To join those clauses together. Remember, joining clauses together, preferably no more than two join together. And make sure you use your basics of your full stops, your capital letters. This story, should be no more than two pages, okay? I want you to email it to me, or to Skype it to me, or class dojo to it to me uh, later on. You can type it, you can write it, the choice is absolutely yours. You will have an English session today with me, and we'll be talking about some of these different features that you could be using in your story. So, year six, there's your task. If you have any questions, send me a message, and I will phone you back as soon as possible. Otherwise, enjoy writing your story. I am really looking forward to reading them. Have an awesome day, Year 6. Thank you very much.